the size and the sheer pace of urbanization in Asian cities has drastically transformed the urban physical and socio-economic landscape. Urban population in East Asia have increased 3% per year, while urban land expansion reached 2.4% per year. This trend is intensifying and has destroyed many places of historical significance. Demand for real estate development has turned traditional villages into modern high-rise buildings that are disconnected from the lifestyles of existing inhabitants. In many cases, communities have not been involved in the process of deciding how development should proceed. This video presents how a Malay community in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia responds to a recent redevelopment effort of their village, Kampung Baru. The concerns and aspirations of the long-term residents, landowners and community leaders were documented to identify their vision of the future of the urban village. Kampung Baru sits in the heart of the Kuala Lumpur metropolitan region. A kampung is defined as a Malay village or locality with 10,000 or fewer people under the leadership of village heads. Kampung Baru was formed in the early 1900 when His Royal Highness, the Sultan of Selangor, granted the land to the Malays under a special condition that the land could only be owned by the Malay people. The 223-acre Malay agricultural settlement survived under British colonial rule and Japanese occupation. As a Malay enclave, traditional Malay houses, micro-scale businesses, local food and delicacies has shaped its unique character. As Kuala Lumpur develops, the 116-year-old kampung is now surrounded by high-rise structure including the iconic Petronas Tower and modern office buildings. Despite piecemeal development and extension of commercial and residential units, the kampung still looks similar to its early years. Meanwhile, with only 35% of the original residents remaining, the area has become occupied mainly by immigrants. With the rising land value, the area has been subjected to the real estate development scheme that would maximize the economic potential of the properties. However, redevelopment efforts have been futile due to the issues of multiple land ownership, land price disparities, and resistance from residents and landowners. The initiative to redevelop the land resurfaced in 2012. With a strong commitment from the government, a comprehensive development master plan was prepared by the Kampung Baru Development Corporation. Saya nak orang Melayu di Kampung Baru ini dilihat sebagai community yang maju dan mempunyai kedudukan ekonomi dan social social status yang boleh dibanggakan. Under Parliamentary Act 733, Kampung Baru Development Corporation was established to facilitate the development of the area. The vision is to develop and to transform the real estate in creating a better living standard while balancing the requirement of preserving Kampung Baru historical values, culture and legacy, with a mission that no landowner or heir of Kampung Baru land will be left behind in this development beyond 2020. Inspired by the Malay and Islamic culture, the master plan seeks to ensure holistic, inclusive and balanced planning that benefits the key stakeholders. Recent visits indicate that transformation of Kampung Baru is now underway. But how do the community leaders, landowners and residents respond to the redevelopment plan? What are their aspirations for the future of the village? Will the local community benefit from the redevelopment? Zamri Muhammad Saharin, the Deputy Director of Urban Planning of Kampung Baru Redevelopment Corporation, said that the change would offer economic and social benefits. Dilihat dari konteks manfaatnya tentunya pembangunan hartanah akan memberikan pulangan yang lebih tinggi kepada pemilik-pemilik. Kita juga lihat pembangunan kampung baru, keadaan fizikal kampung baru sekarang ini yang 
agak-agak macam setinggan tu bila mana dibangunkan dia akan jadi lebih moden dilengkapi dengan infrastruktur infra, info infrastruktur dan juga kemudahan utility yang moden lah so bila mana semua itu dapat di, di, dibangunkan tentunya pemilik pewaris dan penduduk kampung baru juga akan menikmati Melayu-Melayu kaum baru ni Despite the advantage mentioned the kampung baru community is struggling to come to terms with redevelopment plans as the skepticism and resistance persists Understanding the aspiration of the community may shed light on the community's concern. Conversation with the landowners, residents and community leaders of Kampung Baru highlighted various concerns and expectations. Landowners embrace the idea of change and redevelopment as long as it conforms to the needs and aspirations of the Malays the economic sustainability and the continuity of social and cultural identity of the Malays were the main concern regarding the development. The village heads had their own views on how the future of Kampung Baru should be. Jadi kita harap kita tidak pernah menolak pembangunan. Tapi kita nak pembangunan itu selaras dengan keperluan kita kehendak politik, kehendak sosial, kehendak atau kita realise kan untuk masa depan yang dan tidak merugikan bangsa Melayu. Kalau kita membangun pecahkan langit, memang cantik macam kiat sisi nak di luar ada lorong jadi kiat sisi tu sini. Tapi kalau Melayu tak ada di sini, Melayu tidak ada di sini, Melayu terpinggir, Melayu fokus di bandar. Ke mana? Ke mana? Kan Keseluruhan ni lah kita nakkan cantik, bersih dan terkawal. Kalau nak ubah tu saya, saya nak kalau boleh kerajaan bantu pada penduduk asal ni dari segi orang cakap bantu baik boleh rumah masing-masing yang mana yang sedia ada tu. Several landowners insisted that the development should reflect the Malay Islamic character and values in a modern form. Dan kita pastikan pembangunan ni mengikut ciri-ciri Islam dan seni bina Melayu. Islamic Malay, uh, Malay city centre yeah. dan selagi ada uh, Malay town yeah. and the first of its kind in the whole world. Uh, ini yang kita nak. New development should bring about positive change for a community. The landowners realise the need to improve the socio-economic status of the Malays but they were not convinced that the development could benefit the community. The chairman of the Secretariat of Traders and Businesses of Kampung Baru expressed his concern about the redevelopment approach. On the other hand, a Malay real estate developer was confident that the Malay will reap the benefit. The need is to have suitable business model to convince the landowners. Okay, why we want to have the incentive? Once you have the incentive, that means the owner itself will get the advantage okay. as a landowner mm -hmm. when you want to value land. Both landowners and community leaders wanted their interests to be safeguarded and their voices to be heard. They insisted that their rights to plan the future of the kampung should be acknowledged and integrated in the planning and decision-making process. They have to follow the people of the government, the voice of the people of the government. Kalau dia tak ikutkan kandak-kandak uh, orang asal kamu baru ni, then I kata, it's a flop, it will never happen and as well, it's a very other rejection. Dr. Suhana Samsudin, a professor in urban design, shared her thoughts on the way forward in transforming the place. The future development of Kampung Baru will be more realistic if they were to approach it on an incremental basis. But this will be done when and if the owners are ready. 
If plans proceed, Kampung Baru will be transformed on a massive scale. While the redevelopment is designed for economic and social sustainability, it may in the end benefit few. Without a collective agreement from engaged members of the community, the roadmap to a sustainable future of the Kampung remains uncertain. Despite the challenge, sustainability of an urban village is hinged on adapting to change while securing the economic, social and cultural values of the place. The impact of the redevelopment depends on how people are informed about and engage in the allocation of economic and social benefits. Giving greater voice to the people in such urban villages could better align city redevelopment objective with the interests and values of people living in the traditional enclave. The road towards sustainable development could be paved effectively by integrating the principle for inclusive urban development, adopting a place-specific planning approach, considering rights and ownership issues, planning for equity and community benefits, and empowering community through public participation and engagement. A framework for future development should allow for a place to transform naturally according to the current needs and the aspiration of the local inhabitants.